This is the fastest and easiest way to level up the Order of Souls as of the latest update in Sea of Thieves. If you're new here, why not subscribe for more no-nonsense guides? And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and raise the Order of Souls Emissary Flag. If you do not have this unlocked yet, you will need to reach level 15 in the Order of Souls before attempting this method. You're then going to want to go ahead and purchase a storage crate from the Merchant Alliance. This will give you a little bit of Emissary reputation to get to grade 5 quicker. There are two main ways to level up the Order of Souls. The first one is easier to complete solo, and the second one is actually quicker with a slightly larger crew. Obviously, you can do both to add variation to your sessions, as they aren't that different in how much reputation you will earn. Board your ship and visit the quest table. You're going to want to go to Voyages, Order of Souls, Raid Voyages, and for our first method, you're going to want to select a raid on a skeleton fort. Once you dive, you will spawn just off the coast of an active skeleton fort containing loot to level up the Order of Souls, including the 10,000 gold variant of the Eye of Souls. To park at the fort, you are just going to want to sail straight and not worry too much about the cannon fire. Once you get close enough, these skeletons will despawn. The best loadout for completing this event super quick is a pistol and sword, and when you get to the main boss, switch to a blunderbuss, and maybe use a keg or two. Once complete, grab everything from the vault and place in a position where you can harpoon everything onto your boat. This takes two events to reach grade 5 emissary, so head over to an outpost and sell everything, and then dive once more. The second quest, which is the fastest, only by a little, is a raid on a skeleton fleet. Once you emerge above the waves, you will instantly be next to a skeleton ship. In order to finish the whole event quickly as a solo, I do a couple of neat tricks which make this event so so easy. I constantly throw firebombs on the top deck of ships, preventing them from using cannons. I turn the wheel slightly in one direction and raise the sails to half. This messes with the AI of the skeleton ship and makes them sail so you can fire at them, but often they can't even hit you. And I constantly will shoot at the base of the ship. This is especially important on galleons to generate lower holes that you can protect by hitting around the same place over and over again. Make sure to stop at every ship you sink, which is marked by birds in the sky, to gather their skulls and storage crates, as these all contribute to your emissary grade and reputation. On your first round, you will reach around grade 4 after finishing the event, travel to an outpost, sell everything, and once done, dive for the voyage again. After you complete the event for a second time, you will reach grade 5. Each time you complete the event, you will receive a all-seeing eye of souls. This item alone with a grade 5 emissary flag will net you 37,500 gold and a lot of reputation. You can also shoot out to islands along the way to check for skeleton captains and shipwrecks which contain some of the best loot in the game and this is the same for order of souls if you're struggling with the events at all and doing them quickly make sure to join my discord server filled with nearly 1500 people both new and old players ready to jump on the sea of thieves and help you rank up order of souls very quickly these two events will single-handedly carry you into leveling up the Order of Souls at a super fast rate, far better than anything else you can do in the game. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing, and if you're looking for more Sea of Thieves content, there is a video on the screen right now.